Kolechi, a bright and ambitious 17-year-old, lives in the small town of Yumius. His entire life revolves around his studies and his dreams of leaving the town for bigger opportunities. One day, the town buzzes with excitement as Kolechi receives news of winning a prestigious scholarship to study in Lagos. This is the opportunity he's been waiting for, but as the news sinks in, he glances at Amina, his childhood friend and secret crush, who seems distant and lost in thought. The weight of leaving her behind begins to cast a shadow on his achievement. Amina, soft-spoken yet strong-willed, has known Kolechi since they were children. She congratulates him on his scholarship but deep down, she's hurt. For years, they shared dreams, laughter, and unspoken feelings. Now, the reality of Kolechi leaving feels too close. Amina wonders if he'll forget about her once he's in the big city. That evening, as they sit under the old baobab tree, the silence between them feels heavier than ever before. Kolechi, sensing the change, tries to start a conversation, but Amina's mind is elsewhere, filled with the possibility of losing him forever. Kolechi's parents, thrilled by his scholarship, begin planning for his departure to Lagos. His father, a man of few words, is particularly proud, seeing Kolechi's success as a fulfillment of his own dreams. Meanwhile, Amina's family, especially her mother, is concerned about the young girl's future. She has always expected Amina to settle down in Umuse, perhaps with Kolechi by her side. As days pass, the pressure from both both families begins to mount, with Kolechi's family pushing him towards his dreams and Amina's mother subtly hinting that Amina's future lies in the hands of someone else. The market is bustling with activity, but Amina feels detached as she walks through the familiar stalls. Every corner reminds her of moments shared with Kolechi. As she picks vegetables for her mother, an older woman, Mamankechi, approaches her with a knowing smile. Kolechi is going to be a big man in Lagos, she says, her voice filled with both admiration and caution. Amina nods, trying to hide her emotions. Everyone seems to have an opinion on Kolechi's departure, and it frustrates her that no one seems to care about what she's feeling. As the date of Kolechi's departure nears, he finds himself conflicted. Lagos represents everything he's ever wanted, opportunity, success, and a future beyond the limits of Yumius. Yet, every time he looks at Amina, the pull to stay becomes stronger. One evening, Kolechi's best friend, Chuka, visits him. You'll be a fool to let this chance pass, Chuka says. Amina will understand, and if it's meant to be, she'll wait. But deep down, Kolechi knows that leaving might mean losing her forever. The dilemma between his love for Amina and his dreams for the future becomes unbearable. Amina can no longer keep her feelings bottled up. One evening, she asks Kolechi to meet her by the river, a place where they've shared countless memories. As the sun sets, painting the sky with hues of orange and purple, she finally speaks. Kolechi, I don't want you to go, she whispers, her voice shaking. But I also know that I can't ask you to stay. Her confession catches Kolechi off guard. He knew there was something between them, but hearing her say it out loud makes the situation even more complicated. His heart aches but he doesn't know what to say. Kolechi finds himself torn between two paths. He spends sleepless nights wrestling with the thought of leaving Amina behind. His scholarship to Lagos offers him the chance to elevate his family and change his future, but the idea of starting a new life without Amina feels wrong. His parents, sensing his indecision, remind him of the importance of this opportunity. The city holds your future, his father insists. But Kolechi's heart is in Umuse with Amina. He's caught in a dilemma, unsure whether to follow his dreams or stay for the girl he loves. He town of Yumius throws a farewell party for Kolechi. Friends, neighbors, and family gather to celebrate his achievement. Kolechi smiles and laughs, but inside, he feels like an outsider to his own joy. Throughout the evening, his eyes keep searching for Amina. When he finally finds her, standing at the edge of the crowd, their eyes meet. In that moment, the world seems to fall away, leaving just the two of them. The joy of the evening is bittersweet, overshadowed by the unspoken words between them. They both know that time is running out. Unknown to Kolechi, Amina has been keeping a secret. A few weeks Weeks before his scholarship news, she received a proposal from a suitor her mother favored, a wealthy trader from a neighboring village. She's been wrestling with the decision, 
unsure of her feelings. Now, with Kolechi's departure looming, the pressure to accept the proposal increases. Her mother pushes her to think practically. Kolechi is leaving. You must think about your own future, her mother urges. Amina's heart is heavy with the decision she must make. Does she hold on to her feelings for Kolechi or accept a future with someone else? The day Kolechi is set to leave for Lagos arrives. The entire town gathers to bid him farewell, but Amina is conspicuously absent. Kolechi searches the crowd, hoping for one last glimpse of her, but she is nowhere to be found. His heart sinks as he boards the bus, feeling as though a piece of him is being left behind. As the bus pulls away, Kolechi looks back one last time at the familiar streets of Yumu's, wondering if he has made the right choice. Little does he know, Amina is standing at a distance, hidden from view, watching him leave. Lagos is everything Kolechi imagined, busy, vibrant, and full of opportunities. The university is larger than he expected, and the people are different from those in Yumu's. As the days pass, Kolechi throws himself into his studies, trying to distract himself from thoughts of Amina. But no matter how hard he tries, the memories of their time together haunt him. He often finds himself wondering what life back in Yumu's is like and whether Amina still thinks about him. Lagos offers him everything he dreamed of, yet his heart feels empty without her. Back in Yumu's, Amina's life has taken a different turn. The pressure from her family intensifies, and after much deliberation, she reluctantly agrees to the marriage proposal. The wedding is set to take place in a few months, and preparations begin in earnest. Amina feels trapped, her heart still longing for Kolechi even as she's pulled into a future she didn't choose. Her nights are filled with dreams of what could have been, and she wonders if Kolechi has forgotten about her. The weight of societal expectations bears down on her, and she feels helpless to resist. Despite his busy schedule, Kolechi writes to Amina. His letters are filled with stories of life in Lagos, but underneath the surface, they are filled with longing and regret. Amina receives the letters but finds it difficult to respond. Each one feels like like a reminder of the life she wishes she had. She keeps them hidden in a small box under her bed, reading them in secret. Her heart aches with each word, but the reality of her engagement looms large. She wonders if there's any way to change her fate, but the path forward seems increasingly narrow. Months pass, and Kolechi returns to Yumu's for the holidays. The town looks the same, but everything feels different. He's no longer the wide-eyed boy who dreamed of escape. His experiences in Lagos have changed him, but his feelings for Amina remain. He visits her house, hoping to rekindle what they had, but he's greeted with news that shatters him. Amina's engagement has been formalized, and the wedding is just weeks away. Polechi feels as though the ground has been pulled from beneath him. The girl he loves is slipping away, and there's nothing he can do to stop it. Determined not to lose Amina, Kolechi confronts her. He finds her by the river, the same place where she confessed her feelings months ago. Is this really what you want? He asks, his voice filled with desperation. Amina looks away, unable to meet his gaze. I don't have a choice, she whispers. Kolechi's heart breaks at her words. He wants to fight for her, but he knows the weight of family and societal expectations. Amina's decision is not just about them, it's about her family, her future, and the world she lives in. They are both trapped in a situation they cannot control. As the wedding day approaches, Amina feels numb. Her family is excited, the town abuzz with talk of the upcoming celebration. But Amina's heart is heavy. She goes through the motions, trying to convince herself that this is the right thing to do, but deep down, she knows she's not happy. Meanwhile, Kolechi throws himself into his studies, trying to forget the pain of losing Amina. His friends in Lagos notice the change in him, but he refuses to talk about it. He feels like a part of him is being ripped away, and there's nothing he can do to stop it. On the eve of her wedding, Amina sits alone in her room, staring at the letters Kolechi sent her. Her heart is in turmoil. She knows she's making a sacrifice, but for whom? Her family, society. She wonders if love is worth fighting for or if it's too late. Across town, Kolechi is restless. He knows tomorrow marks the end of any chance they have together. He debates going to see her one last time, but he fears it would only make things harder for both of them. The weight of their unspoken love hangs heavy in the air, suffocating them both. The day of Amina's wedding arrives, and the town is alive with celebration. Drums beat, people dance, and Amina is dressed in the finest traditional attire. But inside, she feels like a prisoner in her own life. As she walks down the aisle, her mind drifts to Kolechi, his laughter, their shared dreams, 
and the life they might have had. She feels the eyes of the town on her, expecting her to be joyful, but all she can think of is what she's lost. Kolechi, unable to bear the pain, stays far from the celebration, lost in his own grief. As the wedding ceremony concludes, Kolechi stands on the outskirts of the village, watching from afar. He knows this is the last time he will see Amina as the girl he loves. From now on, she belongs to another. His heart feels heavy, but he also understands that life must go on. As the sun sets, casting a golden hue over Yumu's, Kolechi whispers a silent goodbye. He knows he must let her go, but the ache in his chest remains. Amina, now married, glances back one last time, wondering if Kolechi is somewhere out there, thinking of her too. Life continues in Yumu's, but Kolechi and Amina are forever changed. Amina adjusts to her new life as a wife, though the memories of Kolechi linger in her heart. She wonders if she made the right choice but knows there's no turning back now. Kolechi returns to Lagos, determined to succeed. He buries his pain in his work, but every now and then, thoughts of Amina surface, reminding him of the love they lost. Time may heal their wounds, but the memory of what could have been will stay with them forever. Dreams and love, it seems, do not always align. <laughs>